Mount Carmel Honorary Alumnus John Barry. John Doc Barry is a native of Williamsburg, Iowa. He was a four-year varsity swimmer at Oberlin College, where he received a bachelor's degree in classics. He received his master's degree from the University of Chicago. He then spent the next 14 years dividing his time between working as a paralegal at the Chicago law firm of Jenner and Block, writing his dissertation on ancient Greek novels, and teaching Greek and Latin at various colleges and universities, including the University of Chicago, Oberlin College, Knox College, Loyola University Chicago, and Northwestern University. Doc Berry began teaching at Mount Carmel in 2001. He has taught all four levels of Latin, as well as all four levels of English. Most re recently, he has designed and taught courses in creative writing and film genres. Over 100 students each year take his film class, where they study classic movies. During his years at Mount Carmel, Doc Berry has also been involved in and moderated many clubs, including the Scholastic Bowl, Mock Trial, and the Classics Club. He has served as the Dean of Languages and the Chair of the World Languages Department. Doc Berry remains as one of Mount Carmel's most popular teachers. Doc and his wife Joan reside in Wheaton, Illinois with their two children, Emma and Eli. Please join Mount Carmel in congratulating Mr. John Barry, 2016 Honorary Alumnus. Mount Carmel Honorary Alumnus, John Muha. John Muha was born and raised in Chicago Heights, Illinois. He is a 1978 graduate of Homewood Flossmore High School. Shortly after graduation, John began a career in heating and air conditioning and for the past 22 years has been the owner of Mertz Heating and Air Conditioning in Steger, Illinois. John joined the Mount Carmel family in 2007 when his son Jonathan, class of 2011, started his freshman year. He has been very active at Mount Carmel ever since. He's cooked for the baseball and football games, helped organize and run fight night and father-son night, and has participated in many Father's Club events. He served as a vice president of the Father's Club and is a current member of the Mount Carmel football chain crew. John and his wife Kathy have been married for 30 years. In addition to Jonathan, they also have a daughter, Jessica. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. John Muha, 2016 Honorary Alumnus. Mount Carmel Honorary Alumnus Ron Spork. Ron Spork is the founder and president of Consolidated Fabrication and Constructors Incorporated, located in Gary, Indiana. Consolidated, founded in 1985, is one of the most sought-after mechanical contractors in the country, with clients in 47 states and facilities in Indiana, Delaware, Oklahoma, and Texas. Ron's two sons are graduates of Mount Carmel High School, Patrick, class of 2007, and Alex, class of 2011, are both assistant coaches with the Mount Carmel Hockey Program. Both sons work at Consolidated as project managers. The Consolidated and Mount Carmel paths intertwine as Consolidated employs several Mount Carmel graduates. Ron's brother-in-law, Tony Shackmuth, class of 1983, is the vice president of Consolidated. Ron has generously supported many Mount Carmel endeavors, including the campaign for Mount Carmel High School. He is the event sponsor for the Frank Kieska Memorial Golf Outing, has been an active sponsor of Fight Night and the Mount Carmel Hockey Program. Ron is an avid outdoorsman. During his spare time, he enjoys golfing, hunting, and fishing with his sons and cheering for the Blackhawks, Cubs, and Mount Carmel. Ron and his wife Betsy have been married for 30 years. In between his sons, Ron's daughter Becky is a graduate of Loyola University and works at Loyola Hospital in Maywood as a surgical ICU nurse. Please join Mount Carmel 
in congratulating Mr. Ron Spork, 2016 Honorary Alumnus. Mount Carmel Honorary Alumnus Mary Stamler. At the invitation of former principal Father Bob Carroll, who met her through a mutual friend, Mary Stamler joined Mount Carmel's faculty in 1988, teaching English and Spanish. What she most likely considered as a short-term employment opportunity for a newcomer to Chicago blossomed into a commitment that lasted over a quarter of a century in a myriad of roles that included classroom teacher, assistant principal, librarian, and wise counselor to four Carmelite presidents and principals. Along the way, she challenged hundreds of young men to improve their writing, always pointing out that the devil is in the details, and encouraged each to broaden his understanding of all life offers through reading and thoughtful discussion. She also forged a reputation as a generous mentor to numerous colleagues who turned to her for guidance in everything from interpreting a difficult text to crafting an effective assessment of student work. When she officially retired, which only meant she stopped taking a paycheck, in 2006, she continued to commute to Mount Carmel by CTA bus as many as five days a week to co-teach the advanced placement literature class and to keep a loving eye on the many abandoned cats that dwell along the metro tracks next to the school. Her generous service continued until 2010. Now fully in retirement, she remains as busy as ever, participating in numerous book clubs, serving as a board member for her condo association, keeping tabs on the health and well-being of elderly neighbors, and taking advantage of her newfound freedom to travel extensively. As a vital part of Mount Carmel's faculty for over 20 years, Mary Stamler well deserves the designation as an honorary alumna of the school to which she gave so much of herself. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Ms. Mary Stamler, 2016 Honorary Alumnus. Mount Carmel Hall of Fame, Philip O'Reilly, class of 1944. Phil O'Reilly came to Mount Carmel from St. Philip Neri Grammar School in Chicago. During his time at Mount Carmel, he was a standout athlete, lettering in both football and basketball. His senior year, he was named both All-City and All-Catholic in football. The 1944 Mount Carmel Oriflam yearbook summarizes the football career of Phil O'Reilly with succinct praise. Fee O'Reilly turned in one of the finest roles in the caravan forward wall. A 60-minute player, O'Reilly made every move count. In hindsight, it's apparent that the quality that set O'Reilly apart as a football player, making every move count, would also describe the rest of his life. After graduating from Mount Carmel, he had to deal with the stark reality of the draft. During World War II, he initially took a summer session at Purdue University before eventually enrolling in the Navy. After completing boot camp at the Great Lakes Naval Base and passing a qualifying test, O'Reilly was sent to the University of Louisville for Naval ROTC. After the end of the war, O'Reilly returned to play football at Purdue, where, in his 1947 season, he was voted most valuable player by his teammates. The following year resulted in a bevy of awards, as he was voted a team captain, all-conference, and all-American. The football honors did not stop there for O'Reilly, after graduating from Purdue, he was selected to play in the East-West game, the first hula game played in Hawaii, and the college all-star game. He was twice drafted into the National Football League in both 1948 and 1949. He graduated from Purdue with a double major in mechanical engineering and naval science, degrees that he put to good use at the American Brake Shoe Company in Chicago for three years, and later with another division of the company in Rochester, New York. He moved on to Hudai Industries as an automotive 
division salesman and eventually worked his way up to become the CEO of one of the top 50 largest stock trading companies in the nation. He then joined Stonebridge Partners as an operating partner and COB of many of their acquired companies. Phil currently resides in Vero Beach, Florida. He was married to the late Patricia O'Reilly for 62 years, and they have five children. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. Phil O'Reilly, Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. Mount Carmel Hall of Fame, Jack Keene, class of 1960. Jack Keene came to Mount Carmel from Visitation Grammar School in Chicago. Jack participated in track, cross country, and wrestling. He was a two-time letter winner for the Mount Carmel Caravan Wrestling Program, compiling a record of 21 wins and four losses. After graduating from Mount Carmel, Jack was drafted into the United States Army and served his country for three years in the Vietnam War. After being discharged, Jack went to Washburn Trade School in Chicago to become a construction machinist. He worked for Rockwell International for 20 years as a press director and then spent 18 years working for the city of Chicago as a machinist before retiring in 2005. Jack has been an avid supporter of Mount Carmel High School for over 50 years. He has been on the committee of the MC Foundation, a member of the Society of St. Cyril, Caravan Club, Fathers Club, and the Alumni Association. Jack has helped countless students with financial aid and has generally supported the Mount Carmel wrestling program. He helped former coach Bill Wick with recruiting that led to the caravan winning three consecutive state championships from 1992 to 1994. He continues to be a part of Mount Carmel serving as a fundraiser, advisor, recruiter, and most loyal fan, helping the caravan to six consecutive Catholic League titles and a third place finish in the 2016 Class 2A State Championship. Jack resides in Chicago's Bridgeport neighborhood, where he is a parishioner of Santa Lucia and a member of the Holy Name Society. Jack is also an active member of the Old Neighborhood Italian American Club. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. Jack Keene, Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. Mount Carmel Hall of Fame, Marty Hughes, Class of 1966. Marty Hughes came to Mount Carmel from St. Francis de Sales Grammar School in Chicago. During his time at Mount Carmel, Marty was an all-around student athlete. He was a two-time letter winner in varsity basketball and a three-time letter winner in varsity football. His senior season, he was named the most valuable player of the Mount Carmel football team. After graduating from Mount Carmel, Marty enrolled at the University of Illinois at Chicago, where he earned a degree in accounting. In 1973, Marty joined Mack and Parker Incorporated, where he served as president from 1990 to 1999 and as chairman from 1999 until 2001. Marty Hughes has 43 years of experience in the insurance brokerage industry. He is the chairman of the board of directors and chief executive officer for Hub International and also serves as secretary of the Council of Insurance Agents and Brokers. He is a member of the Economic Club of Chicago and the Executives Club of Chicago. He previously served as chairman of Assurex International, a worldwide insurance service organization. Marty Hughes has been a longtime supporter of Mount Carmel High School. He is currently the chairman for the Campaign for Mount Carmel. He is also on the Board of Directors and Finance Council. In 2005, he was Mount Carmel's Man of the Year and in 2012 was the Mount Carmel High School commencement speaker. This year, he was part of the class of 1966 50th Reunion Committee that has helped make this night such a great success. Marty and his wife Julie, a Mount Carmel honorary alumna, have been married for 45 years and have had five children, including Neil, a 1993 graduate of Mount Carmel, 
Cullen, Sarah, Tricia, and Caroline. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Marty Hughes, Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. Mount Carmel Hall of Fame, Melvin McCants, Class of 1985. Melvin McCants came to Mount Carmel from Medill Elementary School in Chicago. During his time at Mount Carmel, he was a standout basketball player, leading the caravan to the 1985 Class 2A State Championship. This was the only time a team from the, Chica from the Chicago Catholic League had won a Class AA State Championship. During his senior season, Melvin was named All-Catholic, All-State, All-American, the Daily Calumet Player of the Year, and a member of the 1985 All-Tournament team. After graduating from Mount Carmel, Melvin went on to play for legendary coach Gene Cady at Purdue. At Purdue, McCants led the Boilermakers to back-to-back -back Big Ten titles and three appearances in the NCAA tournament. He was a team co-captain in 1989, and a third-team All-Big Ten, All Big Ten pick in 1987. Twice during his career, he was named the Courage Award winner. In his senior season in 1989, he was the recipient of the Red Mackey Award. That same year, he led the Boilermakers in scoring, field goal percentage, free throws, and block shots. He finished his four-year career at Purdue ranked second in games started, seventh in free throw attempts, eighth in field goal percentage, 9th in free throws, 11th in block shots, 12th in rebounds, and 15th in scoring. After Purdue, Melvin was signed by the Los Angeles Lakers and played one year in the NBA. He then moved on to the European Basketball League, where he played for 13 seasons in Belgium before retiring in 2009. Melvin still resides in Belgium with his longtime partner Miriam. They have a daughter, Layla Marie, who will be five next month. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. Melvin McCants, Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. Mount Carmel Hall of Fame, Jim Deering, Class of 1986. Jim Deering came to Mount Carmel from St. Barnabas Grammar School in Chicago. The youngest of 12 children, Jim was one of seven brothers to attend Mount Carmel. His father, Maurice, is a 1936 graduate of Mount Carmel, and his sons, Seamus, Class of 2011, and Brendan, Class of 2013, also graduated from Mount Carmel. During his time at Mount Carmel, Jim participated in numerous activities and intramurals. He was an excellent student and member of the National Honor Society. After graduating from Mount Carmel, Jim paid his own way through Northern Illinois University, where he received a degree in mechanical engineering. He then went on to a long career in the engineering field. Jim was a Mount Carmel man through and through. He was committed to Mount Carmel and loved Mount Carmel athletics. He served as the Fathers Club president twice and he and his wife Mary served as co-chairs of the Caravan Gala for two years. He volunteered with the rugby program, fight night, and numerous other events that benefited Mount Carmel High School, including building the very stage that we use tonight. His involvement continued until his sudden death in August of 2015. He also supported a great number of causes outside of Mount Carmel. In 2012, he organized a fundraiser to aid the family of Mount Carmel alum Chris Norris, class of 2003, who was killed in an avalanche while skiing. He also supported Special Olympics and completed a 125-mile bike ride in 2014 that raised funds for multiple sclerosis. Jim was a great family man. He and Mary were married 23 years, and he was devoted to his four children, Seamus, Brendan, Mary-Kate, and Maureen. He hated his business travel when it took time away from his family and Mount Carmel. Jim leaves behind an incredible legacy of great husband, father, 
uncle, and friend. Please join Mount Carmel in congratulating the Deering family and welcoming Jim Deering into the Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. Mount Carmel Hall of Fame, Bill Guidi, Class of 1989. Bill Guidi came to Mount Carmel from Our Lady of the Snows Grammar School in Chicago. During his time at Mount Carmel, he excelled in the classroom as well as on the athletic field. He was a member of the National Honor Society and was actively involved in the newspaper and yearbook staffs. In 1989, he was voted Senior of the Year. As an athlete, Bill was a two-year starter on the varsity baseball team where he also served as team captain. He played every position in the infield and was selected to the all-area baseball team his senior year. As a wrestler, Bill Guidi was a four-year varsity letter winner. He was a two-time Catholic League champ, and he won the Illinois State Championship as a senior at 160 pounds. His record his senior year was 42 wins and only two losses. And those two losses came while wrestling up in the 176-pound division. As a senior, he was an ASICS All-American selection. He was the captain of the 1989 wrestling team that was rated as one of the top 10 teams in the country. At one time, Bill Guidi held the record for the most varsity wins in school history. He finished with a career record of 130 wins and 20 losses. After graduation, Bill continued his baseball career at the Illinois Institute of Technology. He was a four-year starter at IIT. In his senior year, he was named the team's most valuable player, NAIA All-American, and the IIT Male Athlete of the Year. During his college years, he also came back to coach wrestling at Mount Carmel and was on the coaching staff when the Caravan Wrestlers won three consecutive state championships in 92, 93, and 1994. He also coached six more squads that took home state team medals as well. Under his tutelage, 20 wrestlers became state champions and 40 wrestlers placed in the state tournament. Bill also returned to his college alma mater and coached baseball from 2011 to 2013. Bill Guidi has been a very generous contributor to Mount Carmel High School. He has helped dozens of students who are in need of financial aid and is a major supporter of both the annual walkathon and fight night, where he volunteers his time as well. Bill and fellow Mount Carmel grad Mike Fitzpatrick own and operate Cork and Carey Pub in two locations. Cork and Carey serves as home to countless Mount Carmel alumni events, school fundraisers, and meetings. He also has an ownership interest in a wholesale sporting goods business, RN Sports, which has helped many caravan teams with equipment and apparel throughout the years. Bill and his wife Christine have been married for 15 years. They have two daughters, Hannah, who is 12, and Mia Claire, who is 9. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. Bill Guidi, Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. The Father Aquinas Colgan Humanitarian of the Year is Tom Dart, Class of 1980. Tom Dart came to Mount Carmel from St. Barnabas Grade School in Chicago. He was an exceptional student during his four years here. After graduating from Mount Carmel, Tom attended Providence College in Rhode Island, where he received a bachelor's degree in history and social studies. He then went on to Loyola University in Chicago, where he received his law degree. Tom began his career as a Cook County State Prosecutor in 1991. He was appointed as an Illinois State Senator, filling the vacancy caused by the resignation of then-Senator Jeremiah Joyce. In 1993, he was elected as a state representative for Illinois' 28th House District, where he served until January 2003, when he became Chief of Staff to Cook County Sheriff Michael Sheehan. When Sheehan announced his retirement in 2006, Tom announced his candidacy to become the, the Cook County Sheriff. 
Tom was elected as the Cook County Sheriff in 2006 and was re-elected in 2010 and 2014. As the Cook County Sheriff, he oversees more than 12,000 in-house and alternative program inmates. The Cook County Jail is the largest single-site jail in the nation. Sheriff Dart has been hailed for his reforms to improve safety and security for inmates and employees at the jail. He has been a strong advocate for those with mental illness, launching the Office of Mental Health Policy and Advocacy in 2013. He began the expansion of the jail garden, giving inmates the opportunity to gain valuable skills that can be utilized upon their release. In recent years, Sheriff Dart has focused his attention on the plight of Cook County's poorest suburbs, helping short-staffed police departments ensure all Cook County citizens receive proper police protection. He also overhauled the county's approach to foreclosure evictions, ensuring evictees receive proper notice prior to eviction. Sheriff Dart has received numerous national and local awards for his groundbreaking efforts. In 2009, Time Magazine named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world. He received the John Jay Medal for Justice in 2011 and the Abraham Lincoln Humanitarian Award in 2015. Recently, Tom was honored as the 2015 Catholic Lawyer of the Year, given annually to a Chicago lawyer who has brought Christ to the world through the practice of law. He was elected into the Mount Carmel Hall of Fame in 2000 and in 2011 was the Mount Carmel Man of the Year. Tom and his wife Patricia have been married for 15 years and have five children. Thomas, who is a freshman at Mount Carmel, Molly, Lauren, Allison, and Shannon. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. Tom Dart, Humanitarian of the Year. Mount Carmel High School Man of the Year, James Finn. James Finn is a 1942 graduate of De La Salle Institute and a 1996 honorary alumnus of Mount Carmel High School. After graduating from De La Salle, Jim served in the United States Naval Air Service as a combat air crewman for three years during World War II. He served on the aircraft carriers USS Franklin and USS Hornet in the North Atlantic Theater. Asia Pacific Theater, and the China, Burma, Indian Theater, and flew over 150 combat missions. After World War II, Jim enrolled in DePaul University, where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Commerce. He began working for Aetna Life Insurance as an assistant manager in their Western Department. He continued a long career in insurance and has worked for Homer Gwynn & Company Insurance Agency, from 1955 till the present, where he is currently serving as president. Jim began a long history of service to others when he entered the United States Navy. He is the co-founder and past president of the Alpha Beta Gamma Society at DePaul University. He is a member of the Union League Club and is a member and past president of Beverly Country Club. He has served on the Illinois Right to Life Committee and is a member of the Beverly Hills Morgan Park Business Association. Jim has served Mount Carmel High School for many years and in many capacities. He has provided outstanding leadership and valuable advice as a longtime member of the Mount Carmel Lay Council and Board of Directors. He's helped guide Mount Carmel through its financial planning as the Chairman of the Finance Committee. In 2009, Jim was inducted into the Mount Carmel Hall of Fame. Jim and his wife Sally have been married for 66 years. They have 11 children, 19 grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Their late son, Brian, is a 1983 graduate of Mount Carmel. Please join Mount Carmel High School in congratulating Mr. James Finn, Mount Carmel Man of the Year.